Hi, third graders, Mrs. Peters here, and I want you to spend some time today on Wednesday, November 4th, uh, thinking again about our calendar grid. And so this is what we have so far. Um, we have November, we, we had the first was on Sunday, has 30 days, and we started to take a look at what kind of cards we're gonna have uh, this month. And then we have a chart that we're gonna be filling in. So on that chart each day with each piece, we're gonna be filling in the date. We're gonna be recording what color the figure is on the grid. We're gonna be recording the height and the length of the figure on the grid. We're gonna record the area of the figure on the grid. And then we're gonna decide, is it a square? So let's go through it together and take a look at the first pieces that we've had. So this was Sunday, November 1st, and I've taken that grid and I've kind of zoomed in a little bit to make it a little bit easier for you to see. So notice that um, one side, so here's the figure that's blue, the height, which we usually think of is up and down, is one, it's one unit. The length, which we tend to think of as a cross, is one unit, okay? So it's blue, and it looks like there is one. Let's go in and do a little recording here. So we have recorded that the color was blue. And then notice that I recorded the height is one. And then I use the multiplication sign and the length is one. Because really we can think of that as one group of one or one row that has one. So the area of that, remember the area is the number of square units it takes to cover a figure. So in this case with this, there's one. We can count them easily. We see that there's one. And then is this a square? Does it have four equal sides? Well, if the height is one and the length is one, then yes, all four of those sides are gonna be one. So that figure is a square. So let's go ahead and take a look at day two. Monday was November 2nd. And I want you to think, so what is the height? That's the up and down number, how many units? What is the length? That's the across part, the, the across units. Um, what's the area or how many square units does it take to make that green figure? And is it a square? Let's do some recording. So I already put in that it is green, okay? Now we're gonna record, remember the height first, the height was one unit, a multiplication sign, and the length was two units. It was one high and two going across. So we could count those units. We could also know that one row of two is two. So the area of that figure is two. Is it a square? Well, remember a square is a rectangle that has all four sides being equal, so this can't be a square. It's got a height of one and a length of two. So, nope, that is not a square. Let's take a look at November 3rd, which was yesterday, Tuesday, November 3rd. So again, I want you to look at this and I want you to think, what is the height? What is the length? What is the area of that figure? And is it a square or not? Okay, let's do some uh, work together. So the color was green. When I look at that, I see that it is two units high. The height is two. A multiplication sign and the length is three units so three I think about that I can figure out the area by thinking of it as two rows of three or I could count them one two three four five six so the area the number of square units it takes to cover that green figure is six is it a square nope not a square it's got a height of two it's got a length of three, so can't be a square. Remember, a square is a rectangle that has four equal sides. Okay, so now we are up to today, Wednesday, November 4th. 
And this is what the figure looks like today. So I want you to think about what is the height and what is the length of that figure. And then the next question is, what would the area be? How many square units does it take to make that purple figure? And then, of course, our last question is, is it a square? Does it have four equal sides? Let's do some recording together. There it is. So the color was purple. When I look at that, I see that it is three high. And I see that it is four across. So I could count on one, two, three, four. So it is three times four. Well, what would the area be? How many square units does it take? If we think about that purple part at that as being a figure, how many purple squares did it take? If you thought of it as three groups of four, um, you would be correct. Four and four is eight and four and more is 12. So it has an area of 12. Is it a square? Nope. Remember, a square is a rectangle that has four equal sides. So, nope. And there you go. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow to see what comes up next in our November calendar break. Thanks for your work.